Oh, I need to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off the alert box temporarily while we are in the game. While we are here in the game. Doodle. And uh, yeah, choose a display style standard. Minimal turn off UI hints helps choice notifications feedback when you make uh, I would let it standard Well <laughs> Yeah, definitely Getting out there alerts before game. Oh true Making toast. Oh red bread <laughs> redemption <laughs> All right, thank you guys for understanding that alerts are off as we take these things to YouTube hopefully Exclamation point YouTube. If you're not already following over there, in addition to the four streams a week that we do here on Twitch, we also currently are posting to YouTube, like three to four. Is it excessive? Maybe. Do we regret it? No. <laughs> um, episode one, a Telltale Walking Dead series. If you guys, actually, as we're talking about Telltale, my playthrough of The Wolf Among Us was exclusive to YouTube. We did one of the chapters here on Twitch. Uh, I cry every time I've played Hey Siege. What's going on? Uh, we did do The Wolf Among Us. We did one of the first chapters here on Twitch. And then the rest of it was completed over on YouTube. So if you have not seen that playthrough. Is that one of the reasons I'm super anxious to get into more Telltale games? Absolutely. Is this going to be as thirsty? I don't know. I guess we'll find out though. The Walking Dead though. I've heard a lot of people say good stuff about this and be like, hey, I love this game. It's my favorite of the Telltales. And you're going to cry every time. And to that I say, I'm ready. So here we go. Let's jump into it. Episode one, a new day. Here we go. To get everything out of my desk way. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored to how you play. Episode one, a new Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Does it really matter? I, uh... You know what they say about reckoning. No, I don't, but I reckon it's a lot like assuming. Yeah, something like that. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Uh, what do you say? Not from me, every time? And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. Making Georgia. All right. So you've got an opinion. What did you think? Uh, let's just say nothing. It's not every day a fella from Bibb County goes off and kills a state senator. That's for sure. Right. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. Oh, he's like you a meet professor. Your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Uh, sure. Why not? Sure.
Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. <laughs> uh, she married the wrong guy. Maybe. <laughs> this man once he he was the worst one he wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it he was an older fella big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses and he just wailing back there says it wasn't him crying and snotting all over right where you sit then before long he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane not tell him he's got to stop but that's government property and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Okay. So did he do it? So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think oh. he actually believed it himself. It's it goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This is so. what we're gonna be this doing. Other time. Holy shit! Okay, and we're like still in handcuffs though. Oh, oh shit. Is our leg broken or anything like that? Thirsty. Ah. Oh, fuck. My leg. Yee, yikes. Oh, yeah. Okay, look at shotgun. I mean, what do we got here? Kick window. <laughs> Oof, you gotta be careful I getting out of there. Drag myself out that window. Yeah, be careful though, that I is. Need to drag myself out that window. Yep. We are. We are heading that way. Alright. Okay, but like there was a gun. I just didn't look at the gun. You gotta go over and get that, sir. Oh! along the car. Oh! Okay. All right. You need to get this. Get the gun. Pick up the gun. Pick up the gun. Pick up the gun. Oh my god. The officer's shotgun is over there. Why would he have needed that? Okay, but like here we go. We got to scroll to pick up. <sighs> We're not really actually going to be able to use this with our. Ew. Looks empty. Yeah, but now we can we can bonk him with it. What It'll are you be doing? To carry with these cuffs off. Okay, that's true. I did just say that. Okay. Uh, take a shell. Sure. Grab that. We have one shotgun shell. Excuse me. Officer. He's dead. God damn. Officer? Okay, yeah, that's it. You got keys on you, my guy? Hey, look at those. Gonna need that. Shit. Okay, we'll just pick them up again. 
Uh oh, be careful. <laughs> okay. Oof. Officer? Officer? Ah! I even like Holy expected shit. it to happen. Ah! What in the hell? Okay, the thing that I already should. I am moving. Me. I'm moving back. I'm moving back. I'm moving back. The gun. Grab the gun. Load the gun. Grab the gun. Load the gun. Grab the gun. Load the gun. Yep. Good thing I got that. Son of a bitch. How, my guy, oh, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, quickly, quickly. Don't make me do this! Yeah, well, just do it, just do it. Just do it, just, just we're, we'll ask questions about it later. Man. His skin's all rotten and he smells like shit. How does skin get that rotten? What the hell is that quickly. This? Okay, well. Are you dead? Hey! Are you dead? He can't. He can't answer you now because he blasted his face off. He blasted his face off. So he's not going to be answering you if he's dead or not. Okay. Okay, can I. Is, what else? Excuse me. Didn't head in the right direction. Oh no. What am I supposed to be doing here? Oh, there we go. Help! Oh, there's go a kid. There, there's been a shooting. What do we got here? Oh, that's not good. We don't want to go that way. No, no, no. That's not the way to go. That's not the way that we need to be going. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Up the, up the, up the road, up the hill. Sir. Where did all these zombies just come from? Where did they come from? Excellent. All right, we survived our first encounter. Zombies can't climb. Everybody knows that. Right? It's like a waste of ammo. Who's wasting the ammo? Hello? Anybody? Okay. Anybody? I wonder if anybody's home. Knock, knock. Who is there? I wonder if anybody's home. Are you just gonna go in? Okay. I mean, we can try. Hello? Anybody home? Oh, okay, okay. I need a little help. My leg is fricked. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Oh, boy. How long have we been... Ah, Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. Why? These people might need more help than I do. How 
long has he, like, been injured in the back of that cop car? How long has he been, like, passed out like that if the, the sheriff is already all gross and decaying? It seems like this neighborhood is already abandoned. Totally is an intruder. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, this does not look good. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> that shouldn't be funny. That's not funny. It's 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 not funny. Now I'm covered in blood. Great. <laughs> oops, oops, oops. <laughs> what do we got in here? This place has been ransacked. Just okay. about anything worthwhile is gone. Uh, that's like a walkie-talkie. Grab that. What do you mean anything worthwhile is gone? We got a walkie-talkie. Yeah, put that in your pocket. And then over here, what do we got? Nothing. What's that beeping? Oh. If you just drank that, you didn't even... You didn't even question what it was. How do I... How do I use the walkie-talkie? Marsh house. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Okay, how there do are I... three new messages. Hmm. Marsh house. That's a Savannah area code. Three new messages. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. <laughs> denture cup. Just take a nice little sip. Dude, we are walking like a zombie. He is gonna get shot. He's going to get shot. We are limping like a zombie. We are walking like a zombie. We're covered in blood. Maybe there's something on there. Hey, in time! What the heck? Thanks for gifting three months of subs to Koino! Lydia's in different area codes. Get the heck out of here. And Todd, that's so kind of you. Thank you. Oh, no, you better say thank you, all right? You better say freaking thank you right now or else. Hey, he's done it. He's done it. Oh, boy. All right. That's so kind of you. Sorry, the alerts are all off, but <laughs> one walkie-talkie. But, like, it's, it's going to connect to somebody else. You don't, you don't just get one, you know? You don't just get one walkie-talkie. Maybe there's something on there. Yeah, do you wanna... Three new messages. All right, Message let's one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Uh -oh. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police.
How old How are old you? you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Uh, where, where are, you? are your parents? I think we know where the parents are. They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Uh, where, where are, are you? you? I'm outside in my tree house. They can't get in. Oh. That's smart. She's got see? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Adorable. <laughs> Are dead. Um. Well, <laughs> I was spamming the one key instead of Q. Are we gonna get a replay? Oh, oh there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Sandra. Big work, dude. Again. Again. My man. You already slipped one time! You didn't learn your lesson? You didn't learn- Oh god! Did Clementine stay away? Clementine stay away! Clementine stay away! Okay! Alright, okay. And here! Here! I got you! Oh my god! <laughs> this is your babysitter, isn't it? Sandra probably babysat you for years. Spring break! Spring break! Man! Kidding hammer, Hi there. Sandra. <sighs> hey, Clementine. Did you kill it? Yes. Don't know. I think so. I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Okay. Uh, I'll go look for help. Get out of here once the sun... Th th definitely not that we one! We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah. You it's chose the safety safe of night. daylight. Of course I did! Of course I chose the safety of daylight! Let's go. Stay close to me. Oh, boy. He's gonna get shot. He has fallen so many times. His leg is so fricked up. There is no way that people don't see him and shoot him as if he is a zombie. He is walking like a zombie. He is walking like a zombie. He is covered in blood like a zombie. This is not... Hey! Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. <laughs> this sucks. What? Oh, it's hot dish night. <laughs> it's hot dish night? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? All right, I'm not going to leave you alone. I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. All right, excuse me. Fine gentlemen who are not going to be getting home to Mama tonight. Hey, man! 
Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Okay, yeah. What is going on? Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then. Yeah. You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... <laughs> Time up! Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Sean thinks you are the babysitter Let's get now. Going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I. The monster's coming. We gotta go. 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 Five two four zero. Five two four zero. I don't know what the significance of staring at that was, but yeah, obviously that was a Okay, how is he doing this with his hurt leg though? My man's cannot even walk like properly. Yeah, he's shoving the car like it ain't no thing. As babysitters go, I'd say your parents are you a tip. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was got? nice to meet Poker you both. tomorrow night? Chet? Sean? Chet, you better be careful. Now, you best be careful now, Thank Chet. Thank God you're okay. Hello? I was wearing Daddy? to be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. Hey there. You've brought a couple guests. Well, <laughs> your boy's a lifesaver. Yep. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So oh. it's just you and your daughter then. I'm the babysitter. Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Uh-oh. Yes. Yep. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Nice. Got some disinfectant. <laughs> drugs? That was quick. He knew right with the drugs Let's were. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Gross. Hurts like hell. Yeah, it does. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? Uh, it's Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel, Herschel Green. That was your name. That's fine. How'd this happen? Uh, car accident? We don't... Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Uh, home. <laughs> home. Where's home? Bro, what does it matter? Up and make it. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl? No. Nobody. Nobody. Is that so? Yeah. It is. Herschel, you why are you we? grilling me? That's all. House is full up with mine. Well, definitely we remember that. Family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clementine. Clementine. 
can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Herschel. Um, looking Herschel, after why are you grilling me like this? Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio. It's but there's bad. some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son is right. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I had to smash a man, got run over, dead cop calling on the ground, dead people walking, a girl. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Okay. Me and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We got to do it, really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. Why would you, like, your not... Gets like, hot I don't, the like, swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. I don't what know. Do do Cut this? the jeans into shorts we'll or something. probably just have to shoot you. Herschel. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Herschel, that is not necessary. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards um. making, I suppose. Uh-oh, he knows he lied? I don't know, does he? Don't be suspicious, no. Don't be suspicious. It smells like... Shit. No. Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. Shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. <laughs> I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. Cool. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh. Okay. Go to bed, sweet Clem. Oh, yeah, those pants are probably like carrying some gross. I love you, baby. Germs <laughs> <out there. laughs> hmm. Hey, get up. <sighs> what an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm a babysitter. I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. <laughs> we better get going or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Duck? Dodging or quacking? Dodging or quacking. <laughs> quacking. Dad! See? Ken, Ken Jr. The word is Herschel. you were on your way to Macon. Sean, well, family's from Chet. There. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Yeah, sure, we'll tag along. Let's, uh... Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Duck. <laughs> I can keep go an eye on your little girl duck. here on the porch. We can visit. Okay. All right. Well. Okay, we're walking around. What do we see? Anything? Be sure to check in with everyone you've met so far. Seems like those two are getting along. Okay. He seems like an all right dude. Herschel, though. Man, we're going to have to worry about Herschel. Herschel's probably watching the news religiously. Herschel seems like the kind of guy who's waking up early. He's catching that, like, 6 a.m. news broadcast. 
And they're probably gonna be talking about whatever murder we've been accused of doing. Ugh. I mark my word, he's gonna see my face and be like, I know that guy. What do you got here? Hey, duck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. All right. How you doing, duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. It's true. Lift with your... Lift with your legs, not your back. Do you Actually. Uh, think this thing will keep them out? <laughs> not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. If an Amazon employee is on parental leave, are they out for delivery, Iceman? I cannot believe you. Iceman! <laughs> Welcome! Good to see you. All right. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. I can do that. Sure. Sure. Be careful, though. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn! Was the boy one of the walkers? Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Yep. Oh, uh... Yeah, a couple. Two. Uh, let's see. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. Nope. I'm just glad not. we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Hey, my parents are in Macon. I don't know where my ex-wife is. I'm not quite sure where my ex-wife is. Ah. Oh. Yeah. For sure. Oh, uh, ah, oh. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Welcome. You want to take him to him? Lee? Take it. Take the boards to him? Anything else I can, uh, do? Any other things to say? Hey, Sean? Lee. All right. Well, I guess. Oh, whoops. I'm just gonna go, uh, check on the others. Whatever you want, man. Ooh. How do you talk to a country girl? You attractor. Oh my god. <laughs> when was this game made? Um, I think like 2012. I think 2012. Thing in here? I just don't know how to use that walkie talkie. Okay. So let's see how uh these two are doing. Hey. Hey Hot there, yet? girls. Uh you two, actually, you look two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. Oh. So, you're good? Okay, it's anyway, good. it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Clementine is a first grader. Ah, oh, cool. So, uh, what, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel oh. here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? Uh, I'm a I professor. used to teach up at the University of Georgia. Yeah. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. 
back to normal. It can't stay like this. There's no way. There's no way. Nope. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. <laughs> All right. Scott, you learned you were fired. Yikes. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's them okay. Over? It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Hmm. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. We'll see you guys in a bit. Let me uh, go see how Kid is doing. Kid? Kid? Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need, need any, any help? help? No, I think I got it. Okay. Do you need any help? Oh. What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Uh, nah, no kids. Nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. Can you learn something about you? How's your son? How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Oh. Hey, what's so what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. Well, on the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've oh, got a, boat. a boat? I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Dolphin? Gotcha wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. You learned about Kenny's boat, I guess so. Okay, so Ken is a fisherman, Katya is a veterinarian, Herschel is a veterinarian, but he's a, he's a, a big boy vet. Hmm. I wonder if I should, like, you should come know clean that to him. If you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. Hey, what do you I'm mean? I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Uh, I was on my way out anyway. I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh, if there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Mm. Yeah, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Hello? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Well, let's be super honest here. Uh, my parents are... My parents are, are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. Yeah, me too. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Mm -hmm. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? We'll be on. Oh, frick! I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Damn it. Sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. But you better become a better liar, and fast. Bro, Let's say you... things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. 
So whoever you are and whatever damn you Herschel. Do, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Uh oh. Go! Uh -oh, uh -oh. I'll get my gun. Uh oh. What happened? What happened? Is it zombies or somebody? Did someone like farm hurt? Herschel? Here's the deal. If you had maybe helped fortify the fence, you didn't think that we needed to earlier. I didn't You've help, but like, need to make it if you too. want. Yes, I would like the ride. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Oh, and now Chet's not going to get to see his friend tonight. Herschel, you got another kid inside, though, right? Duck was saved, that's all that matters. <laughs> duck, duck. <laughs> uh oh. Are we out well, of gas? This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Yeah, always side with Kenny. I figured because longevity wise, we were leaving anyways. No offense. No offense to Herschel and his family, but he already was like, you're not really staying here. Look! So if we had burned the bridge with Kenny hey and there. Duck... <laughs> you friendly? Trucks run out of gas. It would have been worse for us. Oh. Not friendly. Fuck. Not friendly. Not friendly. Not friendly. Not friendly. Oh! Oh! Run! Okay, okay. Oh my god. He's actually. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. It could be dangerous. Worse. They couldn't let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. Where's Duck? What is it? I, I have to pee. Where's Duck? I'll go out there again in a second. Okay. Uh. Here, Duck. Okay. It's not kid. just go. Too. Then just go. Oh, I'm so They've sorry. They've got kids, I... Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You have something in common. Damn. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. 
Carly and Glenn just ran out there. Oh, look at Lil Clem. Fuck, we're in a war zone. Oh, look at Lil Clem. Oh, can you believe this lady? That lady's my daughter. I can see the resemblance. My son won't grow up to be a raging fucking lunatic. That's for certain. Where son. is your son? Where is Doc? Holy shit! Son of a bitch! One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. He's not bitten. For is my he bit? dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Uh... Dad, it's just a boy. Reason. Let me, I'll handle it. You'll kick his Dad. ass. You need to calm down. Reason, we reason. reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Okay, I didn't say with I mean, I'm just out. saying, like, Nobody's listen, tensions are just anything. high. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, I'm we're gonna about punch to him. be trapped in here with one of those things. I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch this about? guy. He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. He's not bitten. Lee, stop I'm... this. It's upsetting him. He's Ooh, not bitten. I'm upsetting him. <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten alive. Sit down Sit or down. else. That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. Let me smack him! Kill him, cat. Just worry about duck. Lee! Yeah? Uh-oh. There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. No! Probably. No, ask the people! Hey, this, I'm this, not are the you bad missing? Guy here. I'm just looking out for no, my No, no, they don't no, tell Glenn to go in there. Chilling a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, then we'll deal with the first it. First thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. How then, what a jerk. When she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then There'll be three. Uh, that boy is the ball game. Then we deal with it then. But right now we're just freaking everybody out. And get yeah. ready to deal with it because that boy is bit. Not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Nope. Let me punch him. Let me stab him. Uh, hit him, Kenny. Stop him. Knock this guy out happily. Jesus. Oh, oh man. Oh. Clem. <laughs> Why didn't we check with the group and be like, is someone in the bathroom? Are we, what happened? Did we trip on blood again? Oh my god. Oh boy. Clip. Clip. Come on. Smash his head. Smash. 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 God damn. Man. You okay? Yeah! Just great, thanks. I'm fine. Uh, uh, guys, who? Clem will remember he protected her. That's good. Uh, who are all these people? Down. Stay quiet. That is not gonna help. That's not gonna help. They're literally gonna find you. They're gonna get in. Shut Kenny, up. you good? Kenny's good. Duck is good. Clem is good. Cat is good. I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was Are stupid. You kidding me? That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, 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 Heart attack? Good. Good. Was he the one bitten? Was he the one bitten? No. Why not? Don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Uh, um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. No. Uh, looking. What are we looking for? We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone Bro. else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? 
We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Great. Uh, you know your way you around You know your that? way around? Local. Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Nice. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. Nice. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Lily Keep and Larry. Keep a good Larry. eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. Look and at you, Kenny. You keep what an eye on that front guy. door. You're our lookout. What a forgiving, nice Doug, guy. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot. And I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Nice, Kenny. Rising up to be a leader. Rising up in the pharmacy. we got here easter egg hunt the it it guy okay heard or seen anything nothing luckily wanna step outside have a look around <laughs> i'm not suicidal yet no the gate out there is closed we can hang out in front of the store and be fine uh, 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 absolutely not that is the stupidest de no uh, not now not no right we're now. no 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 all right let me know if you want to yeah, I'll let you know. Oh, yeah, that gate. You mean that gate that's held together by one little tiny padlock? Forgive me if I think that maybe, just maybe, that's not no, the most secure thing. I'm sorry thing. to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. How do you prepare for that? Wanna hang out? I got the new zombie movie on 16K. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, Don't honey. Worry. Ducky, how are you feeling? But you guys are doing okay? Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank Absolutely. you, Lee. We'll see you in Todd. Thanks for being here. Take care. All right, how's Duck doing? You guys all right? Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all Good. been through a lot. Duck? Are you sure you're okay? How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's scared. Her family is dead. Family's dead, so that's awful, Lee. Well, yeah, well, she seems to be handling herself all right. Well, she's she doesn't just know a little that they're girl, dead. Ken. Lee says they she spent know. days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. You're not incorrect. What's the plan? What's the I plan? Guess? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Uh... Oh, what? What? They, uh, own this place. What? They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. What? What? Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? Um, listen up here. It happened pretty fast. It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't well, kill ourselves. Over we it. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what uh, we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it, but in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. True. I guess. I went to save Duck. Trying to let it go. I tried to save Duck, and then you came and also saved Duck, and then you ran away with Duck after Duck 
ran over Sean with the tractor. So, you know, you know, yeah. Hey, Eloise, how are you? All right. She's okay. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you, you heard, heard from, from Glenn? Glenn? Not in a little while. All right. Well. Oh, whoops, wrong button. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Yeah, she's so cute. All right. So what do we got here? Oh god, we don't want to go look out in the alley. I don't think. Make sure not to slip on this blood again, dude. First aid. Can we uh? Can we like check some of these things? We ought to clear this door for when we find the keys. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Okay. What is this? A weapon? Dad's cane. He'd zip around oh, here on it from time to time. Cane. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you wouldn't have. My dad gave it to me. You See, Dad just smart like that. Cute. I ought to clear Cute. a path to opening that door. Better get this door clear, huh? Can yes. I help? Absolutely. Yes! Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Uh... <sighs> Things have been scary, Things huh? Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about the... Uh, what about, uh, what do your parents do? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. Uh... All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Well, I hope not. It's just complicated. I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. 
Oh. Got in some trouble? I'm not a bad guy. I killed someone? I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Ow! Oh, gosh. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? Yep. A little. Oh, there's first aid right over here. Don't I'll worry. Find your bandage. Don't worry. First aid kit right over here. I saw it. Look at that. There's a band aid in there, I bet. Yeah, I bet oh, so. Oh, good. Uh oh, I swear to God, something happened to this kid. Is there anything else in that first aid kit? Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. Do we need to turn on the TV? I don't know if we do, because that'll make noise. Clementine. Let's have a look at that finger. Band aid. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Yes. Does it hurt when I do this? A little... not too much. You sure? Yeah. She's just being brave. Okay, let's, let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Perfect. Lee? Oh. Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Listen. They'll find us. They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until... True! Okay. You got your walkie-talkie. Oh, boy. You got the walkie-talkie, but do they have another one somewhere? There's the remote. Do we want to turn that on? It's the remote to my dad's TV. Do we want to turn that on? I don't know if we necessarily do. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Okay. Hmm. Don't it's think I can handle this game? We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Len. And you can definitely pay attention. Make sure you're taking care of yourself, though, because this is a heavier themed game. Yes, there we go. Thank you. Thank you, She Speaks Softly. Right there. There's the website. Bro, why did you rip yourself off? Oh. Hey. Photo. It's the. Just picture. a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. Ah! You're what? Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid uh -oh. attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Nope. No. I don't I'm think sticking so. sticking to first names for a reason. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! You seem uh -oh. like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look... Don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. Did I'll the just kid keep hear it to that? myself. I don't know. I guess so. Maybe. Thanks. Thanks. Don't Carly. Worry about it. Well, remember you trusted her. I hope that is not a mistake. All right. Carly. My parents came in here hoping to survive, but it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Dang. Do we want to turn on the TV? I guess we could. I feel like it's gonna... I feel like it's gonna... That's what I figured. Yeah, you can turn it off. Perfect. Nothing. Uh, we should maybe search that first aid kit for more stuff, though. See if there's anything... Luckily, in there's nothing I need in here. Luckily, but, like, you should take that with you. You might need those things later. F Larry. F everything. Oh, I'm with you. I'll pop out of here. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Let's find okay. a key. We gotta find a key to the pharmacy. Lee? What? Yeah? Uh -oh. You're not 
bad, right? Shoot. I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Uh. No, no we're gonna be honest. He wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? Yes. He was. He was. Yes. Oh boy. Was he bad? Yep. Sure enough. All right. You guys found a pharmacy key or anything like that? I feel like you would have. Energy bar. Absolutely. Grab that. Perfect. What do we have here? Oh, another energy bar. Two energy bars. One for me and one for Klim. All that matters is me and Klim. I feel like we need to establish. Hey there. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. Yikes. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. They're gonna, they're gonna be like, nah. hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of him. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the moment hey! and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Oh, we're gonna jog? She bring her athletic, her athleisure? Give a lily. Why would I give her my energy bar? I'm not gonna do that. We need to establish who is important to us. I feel like, all right, hold on, hello. Let's let's together decide who is important to us so that we have like a hierarchy of needs that we can reference. I think that this is gonna be important. All right, so number one, Clem. Clementine above everything. Duck, number two. We can put Lee Self at number three and then four. Kenny? Okay. Is Cat with Kenny? Larry is gonna be last. And then you got his daughter, Lily. I don't know where she really falls in. She seems tactical. We'll put Carly. <sighs> Carly doesn't have a plan. A solid plan for like after this. Kenny, Kenny and Kat, they've got an offshore fishing vessel. They've got a boat where we might be able to go spend some time away from all of these dudes. So that's why I'm putting them ahead of Carly. She's got a gun, but like she also like lives here in the city. She's got no backup plan. I'll put Glenn at number six, seven. Oh, we don't know what that dude's name is. Doug. Doug. Okay, we'll put Doug. I don't know anything about Doug so far, but we'll put him above Lily and Larry. So here's our definitive ranking. Clementine must be protected at all costs, then Duck. Ourselves. Then Kenny, Katya. Then Carly, then Glenn, then Doug, then Lily. Then the very last is, is Larry. Whiteboard has spoken. Uh, it is erasable though, so if we... If we learn some things, we can always move, maneuver. But I would say that those first three are pretty locked in. I would, I'd wager that those first three are pretty, pretty locked in. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? Try to look at this ice cream menu. It's all melted now. All the melted ice cream. Well, if you die, you start over. I, I did one time. I didn't know if you, like, got further down further through the story that you wouldn't restart I've watched the show everyone dies <laughs> I don't remember them very well your parents okay greeting cards yeah there's there's Doug here's Carly hello what are you messing around with there 
A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Are we, are we able, are we competent in this? Flip the radio over. Batteries? There's no there batteries. There's no batteries in this thing. That's why it's not what working. Now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. You wouldn't know what to look double ba double A batteries. You wouldn't know how to look for double A batteries if they come on, Carly. Carly, I'm about to move you down the list. Of useless. Useless, Carly. I wouldn't even know what to look for. What do you mean? What do you mean? Double A batteries in a pharmacy. Fuck. You're a pretty good chef. Batteries. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Okay, you ready to head out? You ready to head out? You got Let's it. Go. You? Yep. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. I got three energy bars. And that's it. I should have taken my dad's cane. Get down. But we don't want to make too much noise, Carly. So we're going to try to prevent having to shoot if we're able to. Hmm. Did you see that? I sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys. Oh, man. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, oh, Glad. Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. We can. Damn right, we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Well, what happened to agency in this game? What happened to agency? What happened to your choices matter? Let me leave her behind if I want to leave her behind. All right, shoot, there's so many of these. Oh my God. All right, well. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. <laughs> so we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Quietly. These things. Now let's have a look around. Mm-hmm. Okay, peek over the wall, double you. She's eating something. Some kind of right there, close. Okay, peek too long and we will be seen. That sucks. There's one back there trying to get into a room, but I didn't see anyone actually in there. Oh my god. Oh my god. The girl's behind that door. Those two seem to be on the scent. I saw one lurking on the other side of that car. Okay. them. That's everything I know, man. But, you know, watch out. What? Anything over there? Hello? Why are we grabbing... Oh, you know what? Honestly, grab that. She might be able to... Smothering them to death. Yeah, but you can... really what I have in mind. Be able to... Right? You can... Pillow and then shoot the gun into the pillow and then it'll muffle the sound. Right, right. Right. So there's all of those. Let's see what's there. Look at RV. Or we can move that way. Okay. Shoot. Here's. Let's see. How much did you miss? Um. Let's see. About two hours worth. About two hours. We're about two hours in. 
All right, we can it. probably make it over to the RV or down to the truck if we're quick and quiet about it. Okay, yeah. I'm trying to, I feel like, oh gosh. Right, let's go to the truck. Let's go to the truck. Let's go this way. The truck. got up here. Oh. Screwdriver. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stuff these guys quietly. Yeah, they're just looking. Get it quietly. Can you just try to open the door? Can you not just, like, you want to <laughs> just pillow the door? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, can you not just open it? All right, it is locked. Frick. All right, all right, all right, all right. What if I throw an energy bar to them? Pillow the zombie? He's not going anywhere. Look at brick wall. Okay, should we go back? Should we go sneak back that way? I wonder if we can, like, make some noise over here. All right, that's my thought. Let's see, let's see. I do that. We're able to run over here really quick. That guy doesn't see us. All right, here we are. Gross. Game is safe. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. Okay, yes. This is not the best of decisions. Hmm. Hmm. We're going to need weapon. I know we are. I feel like we okay, so we're gonna have to go and Just, I don't listen. Oh, this is gonna be one of those things, isn't it? This is gonna be one of those things. We're just gonna have to figure out how to use this dang pillow. We're just gonna, it's dressy spaghetti. Oh my god. Well, I got one pillow and two corpses. An age old problem. An age-old problem. Okay. Okay. We'll run back here. Alright, so there she is with the gun. So we'll come back over here. I guess we're gonna silence her. Oh. And then... People. We will pillow this guy. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. There it is. Okay. There we go. Okay. That was right, sick. Yeah, 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 if we can get this off of the blocks. Anything good in here? We got anything good? What is this? Spark plug? Grab it. What is this? Gear shift? Yeah. Let's try to put this into neutral. Spark Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Yeah. Coming in. 
now. It's gonna crash. We're gonna get that axe, baby. We're gonna get that axe. It was awesome. <laughs> His friends don't even care, but that's fine. All right, now. Hmm. Ooh, regular pepperoni, the classic. That sounds so good. That sounds so good. Still here, though. I'm gonna have to just break it, aren't I? But, okay, hold on. What we need to do is we need to get this guy who's eating here. This is, this guy is the, oh, you know what? Here, nope, 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 I don't think that's true. Oh no, we do, yeah, we do. Okay, hold on. Oh boy, oh boy. Once again, I could just break it gonna make noise. I can spark plug it, dude. <laughs> Let's just see what spark plug option is. Wait. He's like, no. Let me see the spark plug. Okay. Okay. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. All right. Now we can. <laughs> All right, there we go. There it is. That is sneaky. That is just brain pretty good. That is just one of those little options that you don't know is a thing until you you just try it out. Oh, what indeed? Oh, what indeed? Okay, now. Now we're just gonna have to start coming around the mountain, I think. Pick their heads, we will. Good to know, good to know. I wonder if that's like, is that a true, is that a, a true thing? Here we go, get in the cover, get in the cover, get in the cover, get in the cover. Okay, that's silly. Continue. I could have done that easy. I just figured it'd be one of those if I jumped out too early. He would like attack, you know? All right. All right, we need this ax though. Hey, buddy. Yeah. You should take that out. We could keep using that. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. It's cool. Well, now we've got this. Yes, now we've got this. That? But we should take that screwdriver still, don't you think? We should still take this screwdriver. Two we should more. get that out of his brain. That should help. Yeah, but like, can, we can't go get it back? Alright, whatever. Is there, uh. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. okay. We'll be right behind you. Video game logic. Oh boy. I'm ready for QTE. I'm ready for QTE. Rad. 
so rad. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm chopping my way in if you don't open. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. Girl. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. I appreciate the due, <sighs> due diligence. You might want to break through that board first. Yeah, don't worry. I get it now. <sighs> now we kick it in. Kick in the door. Stop, just stop. I'm coming out. I don't know, like, why... I get it, you're trying to be helpful, but if, like, she really is just like, no. You're hurt. Oh, God. I... I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. Yeah. I bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. <laughs> you have a boyfriend? Okay, we'll leave. Yeah, bye. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. Bye. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? No. What do you mean borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to me, please. I'm, I'm this is I'm, crazy. Carly's done. Step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family and- Carly! And no! Yes. Back up! Please! No! Now, none of us have a gun. Now, none of us have a gun. Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! Get out of here. Shit! Here they come! Look, I'm ready Get for in. the QT. Yo, we got a car though. Everyone all right? Hey, yeah, we, we made it back calls, safely. No QT. Fine. Well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Okay, yep. We gotta try to find the key. We gotta try to find the key. Is it just like, I wonder if it's just like on top of a door frame? How are we hey, doing? Hey, Doug. Good. Want to go have a look around outside? <laughs> I mean, sure. Let's. Why Let's not? Why the around. heck not? Okay. Sure. Maybe the key is out here. Jesus. Drugs. No. <laughs> This was your idea to come out here, dude. Eat. As far as I can tell, it's all the care of And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the so fuck? gross. I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I 
think so too. We better keep it down out of here. I don't think that we uh really need to stay out here, truthfully. Oh, hardware store. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Oh! Yikes. What about here? Electronics? Warehouse? Got the remote. Do you think we can turn on the stuff? Oh, I bet we can. That place is full of I bet we can turn on... Uh, I bet it'll make noise and then we can sneak over to the... Uh, another place. Okay, hold on. Look at that. the one trapped over there. Is that my... That's his brother! Better help oh. us, huh? Oh shit. That's my brother. What? Do you know that guy? You know what? Fuck. He could be a drugstore employee. <laughs> so you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? He might have the pharmacy keys. I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. Dang! What a plot twist. Know. Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and shut up, dog. Show him the picture. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. Yeah. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. Don't you worry. Is it if his family? Yeah. Prove that he worked here. I think it'd be worth it. I, yeah, I got the photo. I'll see what I can find. Don't worry. I already found it. It's a photo of him. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. Here we go, here we go. Wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. <laughs> and I got an axe. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Yep, look at this. Think just you kidding. Can do anything with this? Do. What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across <laughs> the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AB. Let's try. Hey, there we go. Well fucking done, Doug. Nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Whoa, look at the pretty lights. Whoa, look at the pretty lights. But not enough. Can you can you change it the channel? Can you change the channel to uh, something more loud? Maybe like a an alert, a warning? Something like that. What do we got over here? Yeah, Boarded up windows. There's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Okay, let's see. Go back inside. Let's see. There's too many zombies here. Did you guys try to get in there and yeah, get we weapons? saw this. Change it yeah, to it AMC. <laughs> And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Let's head back inside. Let's go back okay. inside. And let's go... Okay. I think there's any batteries in our remote that we could put in the radio. Okay, I'm hold on. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Thanks. I appreciate it. But, like, have we checked the, uh... I found this the... remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. Oh, well, never it mind It needs then. the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Dang it. Dang it! I thought that might be it. Shoot. I swear to God, if something happens to Clement, I too will be very, very upset. What do we got here? Just oh, a battery! Literally right here. 
Literally, she couldn't come find this battery. It's just right there on the shelf. Oh my god. Carly is moving down the list of important people. This battery should fit the radio. She's Great. moving down Thanks. the list. It was literally on display, right? Uh, like, in front of her, essentially. Yeah. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. No, I'm not. Thanks. I appreciate it. I already... What do you... I, I found the battery. Hey, Carly. Uh, you handle yourself. Seem to handle yourself Any two of those well. big stumpy really? batteries? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. Ah, Doug. She was an asshole, but you know. Yeah. Okay. Story. That guy saved you. That guy saved you. Yeah. Baby guy. Can you believe it? Those creeps or, or ghouls or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. Story of the century here, huh? Yeah. Doesn't and seem like you're gonna get... Equipment. Listen, Nikki, Even I don't think you're gonna it, get the Carly X Lee... You do radio. Fan fiction right. that you've been wanting. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. Okay, well, we'll see you later. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Carly Don't mention it. Rude. Just remember what I said. Yeah. Okay, pull her off I the will. list. The office? I've already been in there. I guess we gotta go back out with Doug. And just start taking some risks. So we just got to start taking some risks and there's no more batteries. Examine more photographs. Okay. All right. I guess we're coming back out here. How are we Good. doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? <laughs> All right, let's, let's have, have a look, have a look around. around. Okay. All right, let's see. Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got oh. the combo, right? Nope. No. Who does? Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Okay, great. Egregious fire code I mean, I could just probably knock it off pretty easy. Is that what we're supposed to be doing? We're just gonna knock it off? Awesome. Now to distract those things. Yep. Carefully. Yeah. All right, here we go. Perfect chance to get rid of Doug. No. Oh boy. Oh, look at that. There's a, literally a brick right here. <laughs> literally, there's a brick. Just throw it over at that. Break it. Break it. I don't know if we actually want them in the. Uh, Oh, there we go. Now it's really loud. Yeah, I mean, that is the move, but the electronics? Electronics, like, could have been good for batteries. But whatever. But whatever. Now's Sierra. the time. 19th Nug disco -y month. Hello, how are you? Leave my basement homies alone. Get the heck out of here. All right, let's go over to my brother. I'm going to have to chop off his head, probably. Keep yeah. An eye out, will you? you need to be very careful. You need to be very careful. Hey, little bro. Hey, bud. Hey, buddy. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. 
Give me a second. I'm sorry, I'm saying my goodbyes. I'm saying my goodbyes. Uh, I'm sorry, sorry I wasn't there. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you are to take care of them, that helps. And chop. Sorry, you literally, you missed his head. You're going for the neck, you gotta go for brain. Gonna be mad when they become a couple. You're amazing. Don't even flatter me, please. She's been really rude. Hey, <laughs> uh, cucumbia, cucumbia. Hi, welcome in. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh no. We gotta hurry. We have to hurry. We have to like hurry. Oh, that one's got a weapon in it already. Nice. Handy screwdriver. Okay. 
Perfect. Oh my god, Doug! Doug, not Doug! Not Doug! Not Doug! Okay, what, it's gonna, what is it gonna, okay, Brick, okay, shit, 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 we're gonna have to make a decision! We're gonna have to make a decision! Oh, save Doug or Carly. Fuck, I know I put Carly as our tier list, but Doug seems more helpful. Let's do, let's take a count. You know what? I'm going to go confront this geezer. Not Glenn. In all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage nine catastrophe. Augusta, stage I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. Absolutely not. can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I got to take my chances. Silly. Silliness. Silliness. Don't say anything. Don't say anything, Lily. God, she's the worst. She is the, absolutely. I think that's the wrong call. I think you're making the wrong call. I'm going to be honest with Maybe, you. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Okay, see you later. Don't split the party. She had a boyfriend, Glenn. She had a boyfriend. It was never gonna work. And taught me all about spark clips. Okay. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. Yeah, we have to take care of Larry. each other. Yeah, we do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man. Do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Yeah, Kenny! Love Kenny. Love Kenny. Alright, I'm gonna go confront Larry. Let me just go punch him in the heart really quick. See if I can stop it. 
Hello. How you doing, Doug? Is that the <laughs> screwdriver from that zombie's back? Doug? Hey. We couldn't save her, could we? Nope. I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. I really liked her. She liked you, too. She liked you, too. <laughs> Thankfully. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. No, oh, that's fine. I understand. Fine. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is what? it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. Hey. I didn't. It looked like you needed help. I... I thought you needed help. No. I guess that makes sense. But it wasn't a choice like that. It, it was just something I did. I don't know why. I just wish you would. I know her. why. Let me tell him. It's because you seem useful and she did not at all. Right? We're thinking with our heads. We're trying to get through this zombie apocalypse, okay? And I'd rather have Doug, who knows how to work electronics, and then Carly, who doesn't know what a battery is. All right. There's the kids. Let's go check on them. Do you guys need any candy bars? Shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. I got no walkies anymore. Listen, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. You're eight years old. I know it doesn't old. make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Hey, Lee, you know who can probably fix one? Ruth, you know who can probably fix a walkie-talkie? Doug! Oh, man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? No! Not, Not really. really. Good. Stay away from her. Or everyone here knows that Lee Everett is a killer. And I'm not talking about those things out there. You hear me? I ask you a question, boy. Let me kill him. And again, I wouldn't expect a convicted murderer to listen to anything anybody's got to say. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Blackmail? In a zombie apocalypse? This hey, is not the time. We... Do you have a second? Nope. Not for you. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. Yep. That sure reporter enough. is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. I, I this love motor Kenny. is pretty damn defendable. We block I love off Kenny. the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. He is we such a loyal friend. Military rolls through. He's so optimistic. I, I just let's go on his boat. Plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Hell yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Okay. It's not going to be okay. Look at that. We no longer have light. We no longer have light. Good. Excellent. To be continued. Oh. Oh, and scene. <sighs> Boy. Oh, I thought we'd preview? be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy I've, bar. I've got Why two candy bars time? already. I'm really hungry, Lee. I've got we one. We gotta I get got food, Lee. Bars. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. 
The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. Denim jacket? Does Lee have a denim jacket? You would never lie to my dad. Even back at the drugstore when everyone thought Kenny's kid was bit, you went out of your way to fight against him. This isn't happening. No more, please. No more, please. Here we go. 23% of players chose Doug. Oops. You and 55% of players refused the gun. Oh. Side with Kenny. You and 48 players defended Kenny. Good. I can't believe it wasn't more than that. You and 49% of players chose Duck. That was really... That was a, a close one. 36 of players lied to Herschel. Herschel just scared me. All right. And it wasn't necessarily a lie. It was kind of just an untruth. Was not that a complete truth? Um, but we're going to pick this up again tomorrow, guys. We're going we're gonna to pick this up tomorrow and do another another chapter or two. This kind of took longer than I thought. It said this was what a, like this chapter was going to be about two hours. And uh, it seemed like it was a little bit more than that. But that's okay. This was, this was fun. I like this a lot. It is decidedly less thirsty than the wolf among us, which is fine. But yeah, I think uh, this is... We've made some decisions. We've made some mistakes, maybe. 